What's going on you guys? This is Andrew Roboto 2021 here and welcome back to Five Nights of Warriors Deluxe where we will be taking on night three in this video. So without further ado, we'll take on night three and let's see what it has to offer for us. Sorry, I was adjusting my camera. I do apologize. All right, do we get a phone call? All right, yes we do. Hey, we should third night is up, and you should be getting the hang of this now, I guess. Matt's toggle. You tell me if something was up. I have to inform you. Toggle about lamp. The we have installed today. As you know, this factory was built on an old piece of land. Yeah. Huh, interesting. There were of so we got new cameras. Okay. There we go. Footsteps, as some people hear. Footsteps. As well as... Sorry, I was adjusting my camera. I, I do apologize. Sounds quite absurd to me, but, you know, take it as you want. We feared someone may have been trying to break in from below. Even though that, that should be impossible, of course. Or it could be animals down there. That's... Uh, we, we don't know for sure, but there were sounds coming from down there. Most... So just for safety, of course, we've put up some more cameras down there as well. You should easily be able to access them on your camera pad, just like the other cameras, so you can keep an eye out on stuff. Um, we, yeah, the, uh, the, the, light, the light situation down there, it, it's not good. Um, so, <laughs> why have cameras at all down there if you can't see anything, right? Well, there is an emergency solution for now. Using your camera pad, you can flash some lights where we installed down there. Just in case you hear someone walking down there, I mean, the cameras have microphones built into them, so you should be able to hear sounds that pick up through your pad, yeah? So, now and then, just take a peek at those underground cameras and listen if the microphones pick up anything of interest. Listen for a few moments, though, before you brush it off as nothing. For all we know, if there should be something down there, it can take a few seconds before anything moves at all. In addition to that, because the cameras are so far on the ground, there might be some audio delay from the cameras and to the pad you're holding. So, based on what we heard today, and what some people heard, just be sure. Listen for a few seconds. Listen if you can hear anything that resembles walking, in footsteps, singing. Anything like that. And if you don't hear anything for two, three, four seconds, I'm sure it's good to go. And give the lamps down there a big flash if you hear something, okay? We don't really want anyone breaking in, so be careful, though. We're, we are on a tight budget as well, so electricity at night is still limited. So here's the deal. Flashing those lamps down there, it, it drains quite a lot of power, if... There is no movement detection in that room. So therefore, please use those flashes sparingly. Only use them if you hear something in that room, okay? We don't really want you to suddenly sit there in the darkness for half a night with no power left. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll, I'll update you tomorrow if anything else is to be reported, yeah? Good night. Okay, so for night three, we have to start checking the cameras and listen for footsteps. And if we hear footsteps, we have to turn on the lights. Okay, there's some footsteps.
Does it have to be loud footsteps in order to use the lamp, or what kind of footsteps do we have to listen for? Okay, I'm listening. Who are we going to be dealing with? Oh, Peach. Okay. So this is where Peach is going to be starting. So for Peach, when she moves into one of the cameras, wherever we hear the footsteps, we have to flash the light at her. Okay. I assume we got to do that. Oh, there's Wario, okay. Okay, so in this game, we have to start checking the cameras so we have a need for them. Whereas in the original, there was no need to check the cameras. Do I toggle the lamp or no? Waluigi. Jesus! Okay, Luigi came through. I wasn't expecting him. I forgot about Luigi. <laughs> okay. So for Peach, we have to listen for her footsteps. And I assume if we hear loud footsteps, we have to turn on the light. Which I haven't heard so far. I've, so far, I've only heard quiet, and quiet footsteps. And this is where she'll start on Kame. So you gotta listen for her. Okay, I'm waiting for Peach, because I know she starts on Kanban, and then she goes to one of the dark cameras. Yep, so she's here, so that's her starting point. So now we just gotta wait till she leaves, and then listen for her on one of the cameras. I assume she makes loud footsteps, and then we have to press the light, I assume. Okay, Peach left, so we gotta listen for her. Okay. There we go. Okay, so if we hear loud footsteps like that, then we have to toggle the lamp to deal with Peach. And that will send her back to Cam A, which is the cellar entrance, which is where she starts. And then she... Damn it! Waluigi just jammed the window. I just, <laughs> I, and I just got jump scared. Okay. Damn it, Waluigi. I didn't react in time. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I'm so focused on Peach that I forget about the others. 
Because Peach, I gotta listen for her, but at the same time, I gotta check for Wario, Waluigi, and Luigi. So apparently, we have to check the cellar cameras in this game, but the main cameras, there's no need to check them, like in the original. In fact, in the original, we didn't have to check the cameras at all. Whereas in this one, we gotta check the cameras, but only the cellar cameras. The main cameras, there's really no need to check them. Because the only one we're dealing with on the camera is Peach. Which, her mechanic's different, by the way. Um, for Pe In the original game, Peach, Peach comes to the window in the original game. But in this game, her mechanic's different. We have to listen for footsteps when she leaves the the entrance for the cellar, and then sh turn on the lamp to to send her back. Yep, that's Peach's sound cue. I recognize that cue. Yeah, so I figured out how to deal with Peach, so that's good. Just gotta listen. Up, oh, Luigi. I figured he'd be coming because I recognize the sound cue, of course. Now to listen for Peach. Damn it, I forgot about Waluigi. God. God, I always forget about Waluigi and Luigi. I keep forgetting. I'm so focused on Peach that I forget about everyone else. I gotta be focused on the others too. Because this is harder than the original game. This is definitely harder. Especially because the power drains faster. Much faster than the original. And it's also going to drain twice as fast because i got to check the cameras for Peach. Whereas in the original game, the only time I really had to use power was for the door and the window. I didn't have to use power for the camera. Since there was no need to check it. But in this one, there's a need to. Peach has entered. And I'm going to go check for Wario, Waluigi, and Luigi. Are they here yet? Nope. Peach is leaving. I'm listening though. Uh 
Oh, I missed. I didn't find Peach there. Louis. Oh, damn it. Luigi just jammed the door. Okay, so this is going to be an issue I'm going to have with night three. The doors and the door and window jamming. This is going to be an issue, definitely. Because I got to focus on Peach, but at the same time, I got to focus on Wario, Waluigi, and Luigi. And if I'm so focused on Peach, I'm going to have little time to react to the others. So this is going to be tricky, definitely. Another night where I'm going to be losing my luck. Apparently the listening, listening is the hard part for Peach. Because sometimes I'm going to miss it like I just did. Yep, that's Peach's sound cue. And why is Peach covering her eyes? That's pretty scary if you ask me. Just she looks like she's screaming. Peach is definitely screaming in that camera. Luigi got him at the window. Okay, I gotta listen for Peach. Wario. Okay, Luigi left. Now I'm gonna listen for Peach. Wario left, so it's good. And I missed. Waluigi. And there's Peach. Do I just stop her at the door or what do I do? Jesus, how did I miss Peach? Do I just stop her at the door? I don't know what, what do I do at this point because... Because Peach... I don't know what to do at this point because Peach is just... Ugh. Okay, Peach just stole the door, so I assume she's just going to stay there until the power runs out and then she'll kill me. Okay. Okay, so Peach breaks the door. Okay. And I, do, and I didn't... 
I don't get what her voice what her voice line was because I couldn't make I couldn't make out what her voice line was. Okay. So Peach is gonna take some time to to try to 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 listen for the right movements, cause cause I'm pretty much gonna be screwed if I flash the light and she's not in the camera, cause it wastes half the power. So I gotta figure something out with Peach. I gotta listen closely for her. I have the volume all the way up. Now I just gotta listen for her closely. I had no idea Peach was capable of breaking a door and then talking and then killing it. Because she's not like this in the original game. Listening. Okay, I just saw Peach. I heard the sound cue. Now I just gotta wait till she leaves and then check for her on the other cameras. Okay. Peach is left. So now we're going to need to listen for her. But first I'm going to check for the others. Waluigi. Damn it! Ugh, Wario got me. And I missed with Peach. I don't know how I'm supposed to know... I don't know how I'm supposed to know when the deep footsteps are heard. Because I gotta listen for deep footsteps. I know that because... When you hear deep footsteps, it means Peach is on one of the cellar cameras. But if you hear quiet footsteps, it means she's moving. So I gotta figure something out with Peach. Cause not only am I struggling with her, but I'm struggling with the others because they kill me when I least expect it. I know that sound it means Wario's nearby as well as Waluigi. Okay, there's Wario.
thousand for Peach. There we go. Okay, so Peach. Okay, Wario. Waluigi. Got him. All right. So when I hear that type of footsteps, it means I got a flashlight for Peach. A ball we just stole there. I gotta close the window. Look at Peach. Let me see. Stole the camera. Okay, wall Luigi left. So that's good. Uh, check for Peach. There she is. Okay. All right, I'm getting the hang of dealing with Peach. Perfect. So if I hear those type of footsteps, it means she's been in one of the cameras. All right. Wario, Waluigi, Luigi. Let's go check for them. Um, Luigi. I wonder when we're going to deal with Mario at some point. We probably will deal with Mario at some point. Okay, Peach. Luigi left. Now to go look for Peach. Luigi. Oh, God. I know what that means. Peach is there. Okay. So, apparently, I lost sight of Peach. Great. So, when she opens the door, it means she's at the office door, and I'm screwed. I'm already screwed anyway, so... I'm only keeping the door closed because Wario's there. Because this is a hard night. Okay, so Peach apparently sings when she opens the door. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to continue off Night 3 and Part 2 of this Let's Play just because of how difficult it is trying to master Peach. I only mastered it two or three times. And then I just lost sight of her, even though I'm listening as close as I can. But anyways, we will continue off Night 3 and Part 2 of the Let's Play. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and go hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on there as well. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.